what's up welcome back to my channel i know i haven't posted in a week but i was just mentally like not all the way there so i needed some time to kind of like get like back in the right headspace um there was a lot of things going on just me with myself just kind of over analyzing things and like getting in my own way um so we're back and i posted on my instagram so if you guys are not following me on instagram you should be because you would already know this and you could have participated in the poll but i posted in my story if you guys wanted to see like a foundation routine or if you guys wanted to see like a skincare routine and for a minute they were neck and neck um but skincare did take the lead so i will be posting a skincare routine later this week i'm gonna just show you guys my foundation routine and kind of chat with you guys as well but anyway we're gonna get to this video i'm gonna just chat with you guys i don't want this intro to be too long because i've been talking for two minutes already so um yeah just give this video a thumbs up don't forget to click the subscribe button we're so close to a thousand subscribers which i'm really excited about because it's gonna be a cute little milestone for this journey um yeah so make sure you subscribe click that bell so you don't miss any videos when i upload here on youtube and also make sure you follow me on the gram at jade simone underscore it'll be linked in the description along with all these products so let's hop into the video okay so you guys know i always start off with my brows done they're looking a little Lately, me and my brows have been beefing, um, but this is what you're going to get today. These are the brows, babe, so this is what we have. So today is going to be a really chill video. I'm going to just show you guys my new kind of makeup, base makeup routine that I've been doing that I really have been loving. I'm going to just share that with you guys and then chat with you guys about some things that I've been going through, dealing with, thinking about, and also, you guys know this if you watch my videos, I live on the busiest street in the world, like, literally, there's traffic non-stop, so sometimes I get frustrated when I'm filming and, like, there's so much noise, but can't control it, can't do anything about it. Um, to start off, I'm gonna be using this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the scent Vanilla, and it smells really soft, like vanilla, like, it's not super, like, overwhelming, and this stuff is so good, I love it. They also have a lip glowy oil in the scent or like the shade pear and it smells really really good that's my favorite so next i'm going to use this beauty elixir from kudale and it's um so good i love it so much this is this um like the travel size one but i can't find my big one anywhere so i'm just gonna use this one and just spray that on my skin i love the way that it smells and the way that it makes my skin feel i just feel like oh i'm obsessed with it so just let that dry but some of the things i kind of want to chat about in this video first of all this setup is a little bit different it's a little bit more chill versus what i normally do and that's just because i don't know i just feel like i feel like i was putting too much pressure on myself to film and my content was showing that i wasn't like it was so much pressure so i kind of just wanted to change up the scene and try something new try something different and kind of put myself in a different environment so i didn't feel so much pressure so i was just kind of beating myself up a little bit and kind of battling with myself if you must i guess that's the best way to put it this is a fenty beauty hydrating primer and i love this stuff this is literally my second one of these it's so good but yeah i was kind of i was just kind of battling with myself last week just thinking i wasn't doing enough thinking i wasn't growing fast enough or like you know i see so many other people posting and being consistent like i am or who are being less consistent than i am and they're growing really fast and i was kind of just like wow like i'm not doing a good job or i'm not doing enough and i'm always really really hard on myself but i just really wanted to take a step back and kind of get myself back into focusing on what's important and focus on like doing what i love and not worrying so much about other people because to be honest we spend a lot of time like on the internet especially with this whole quarantine situation and like social distancing and having more time on our hands we spend a lot of time like compare like on the internet and kind of like comparing our lives and comparing you know our situations to other people's but everybody has a different situation and i just kind of felt like i was getting into the habit of like i won't say compare I, well i guess i was like if you want me just to be honest to be truthful like comparing myself like okay why am i not growing this fast or i'm putting in this amount of time and this amount of efforts and i'm posting and being consistent and i'm not seeing the growth that i think i should be seeing but it's it's not about that when you focus so much on what other people are doing you get sidetracked from what like your main goal is I mean, my goal is to grow but like my ultimate goal is just to like create content that not only i enjoy creating but you guys enjoy watching and i think that's the most important part um moving on i'm gonna use the sunkiss booster drops from elf and i love this i just think it, think it makes your skin look so glowy and so dewy 
and just really really healthy i just want to get back into the habit of how i was before like when i first started my channel just focusing on creating content not worrying about anything else not worrying about anybody else and i think that is really what kept me being so consistent and i also did a, like a little poll on my instagram story so if you're not following me you probably should because you could participate it and send me any questions but and i got some sweet messages of people just telling me like how much they love my content and how proud they are of me and i am a really small youtube channel but i still get really sweet messages from you guys and the people who participate in my channel and leave comments or like my videos or share my videos i feel like that was selfish of me to sit around and compare myself to other people and their growth and what they're doing when i have people who are supporting me who are watching my videos i thought it was a little selfish so i just kind of like wanted to snap out of it a little bit and i'm gonna mix it with the fenty hydrating foundation in the shade 330 i love this foundation i love the like texture of it the consistency like the finish of it i just love everything about it but i love mixing it with the dior because for one this one is too dark for me and the dior is in the shade 4.5 w i'm just gonna shake it up a little bit the finish of this is really nice as well but yeah so I um, just want to get in the habit of just focusing on things that make me happy and doing things that make me happy, not worrying about anybody else. Someone else's journey, like that's exactly what it is, someone else's journey. It has nothing to do with me and like my life. Like there's nothing I can do to physically, you know, change the growth of my success at this moment besides continue to be consistent and do things that genuinely make me happy and i just want to focus on that so i got a message from someone and it was so sweet and i think it was like the universe just kind of telling me like to chill out and just focus on more important things the message said hey i just wanted to say i was having a really bad day and i started to watch your video and i'm not even halfway through but i feel so much better like you just put me in such a better mood i feel so inspired like you know it just made that person feel better and i feel like if I'm able to do that, no matter how big or how small I am, I feel like that's that should be enough for me. Like that's that's cool. Like if this doesn't go beyond what it is, or if my growth is slower than someone else's, as long as I'm making people feel better or making people feel happy or making someone feel like positive or inspired, I feel like I'm doing my part. And that's all at the end of the day, that's all I can do. So my mindset is like very much so different than it was. A week ago like i'm feeling back to like my old self and i just had like a lot of anxiety and i was just i was tripping like i was very much so like in my head about things which i tend to always do because i am the type of person i will overthink every little thing like the smallest little things i will overthink um then i'm gonna go in with this jouet concealer and the shade butterscotch and some under my eye and then put some on the corner to kind of really pull in my face like pull it up a little bit make it look a little more snatched do the same thing on this side on the chin and on the nose and of course we are going to let this sit because it just gives you more coverage and it also gives you more control when you let your concealer sit a little bit versus going in as soon as you lay it down to kind of you know blend it out i just feel like it slips and it slides all over the place and i don't like that so i like to let my concealer sit a little bit and kind of dry down and then go back in and like blend everything and it just blends super super seamless and flawless when you want your foundation to be very like flawless and smooth you really want to take the time out to like really blend everything and kind of melt everything into the skin but yeah so i feel like if i'm able to just make one person Feel better about themselves or the situation or whatever they're going through like i did my part and i don't want to keep beating myself up like this is supposed to be something fun for me like i love doing creating content i love making videos i love you know sharing my life with people and like kind of opening up and just like being able to be creative and whenever i want to and just create the content i want to so i don't want to get wrapped up in like comparing myself because then you're going to take away the joy and the happiness of the experience of doing this and like 
the experience of creating content, if that makes sense. So I don't want to be that person who just is always upset or comparing himself. But to cream bronze, I'm going to use the Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Teddy. And I love this. Love, 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 love this. Like, I love this so much. It should be a crime. It should be against the law. I just feel like it makes the skin look so healthy. And it's just like such a subtle, like, contour and it's super blendable and it's also really really buildable like you can really build this up without taking off any of the work you've already done which I love just like to take my time with this because I feel like the more you take your time with your makeup you can definitely tell like your base will show for sure like you put in time to blend everything together so just like to enjoy the process and the skin looks so delicious it's just like a very it's very delicious I love it it's just it's great but anyway so I don't know, I just wanna kind of focus on doing things that literally make me happy and make me feel good. I'm gonna, fan. I need to buy me like a fan to fan my concealer, but I don't have one, so we're gonna use this piece of paper. But yeah, so that's one of the things that I was doing this week and I wanted to just focus on, you know, getting in a back in a clear headspace so I'm not worrying about anybody else and I'm only doing this for me. And I feel like I'm back in that headspace now, so I'm like back to, back to normal jade like back to feeling confident and wanting to be consistent and just create content and whatever happens happens and, but yeah so i've been just focusing on that and dealing with trying to control my anxiety because i feel like i get anxiety over these smallest things like i literally get anxiety so much i don't know if that's healthy or not but i'm like i'm a very anxious person i feel like like i can be anxious because i'm happy i can be anxious because i'm stressed out i can be anxious because you know, I think too much. There's literally, I'm, I'm always anxious and I don't think that's a good thing. So that's something I definitely like want to work on. Um, now I'm going to just blend out my under eye concealer first and give my chin some more time to dry down because it's definitely very much so still a little more wet than I want it to be. Like it's still could dry down a little bit more. And I do find out, I do find out, I do find like when you let your concealer sit, I just feel like it just blends into the skin so much better. Like it just literally melts into the skin. Oh, and then do the other side and just blend it out. I also got some questions on how I stay positive and like how I keep myself in a positive headspace. Like, I think the main thing for me is I do a lot of reflecting, like a lot of self-reflecting. Like I try not to be a negative person. Like I try not to be upset or like mad all the time about things that I can't control. When I find myself like feeling very like negative or not inspired, I try to like check myself and I spend a lot of time like alone. And I'm naturally a person who is like low key introverted and I don't mind being alone. I enjoy being by myself and I've been by myself for such a long time that like, I don't mind just chilling in my own zone and not being around people. And I, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I don't know if that's healthy or what, but the point I'm trying to make is that I spend a lot of time like reflecting. So anytime that I film, so anytime that I feel myself not being able to like really hone in on being positive, I have conversations with myself. Like I talk to myself, I'm like, you know what? Like you could definitely be doing a lot worse. You could definitely have more issues going on in your, in your life. I try to find something to be happy about. I try to find something to be grateful for. And one thing that I like to do is I love to like write in a journal or like a um like a gratitude journal i have one of those and i love writing in it and just writing 
small things. It doesn't have to be something huge that you're grateful for. It could be, I'm grateful that I woke up today. I'm grateful that I felt inspired today. Or I'm grateful for my friends, my family. Um, I'm grateful that I'm, I've been consistent. Like I try to find things to that, that make me happy in everything that I do. Because I find that when I'm not happy and I feel myself like getting in a, a mode of being like, feel like overwhelmed or I have anxiety or I'm feeling like I've been too stagnant or I'm not doing enough. I always try to like write down things typically in the morning, like to set the tone for the day. Like, okay, I feel inspired. I feel happy. I feel like I'm going to be productive today. And I have conversations with myself and I tell myself like every day, like, Today's gonna be a great day. You're gonna be, um, you know, you're gonna do amazing things. You're gonna get everything you need to do, do done today. Or I just like, you know, I like to write posties, like little post-it notes, and I say like little positive things on it. Like, you're gonna do great today. Today's gonna be an awesome day. You're gonna accomplish all your goals you set for today. I write little quotes to myself so that I can remind myself to be happy. And also there's like apps you can download on like your phone just like positive like motivational quotes that I have sent to my phone sometimes and it's just like a little reminder like hey it could be worse like you know like little things just to remind you like hey you're going through something but it also could be very much so worse than whatever it is you're dealing with now so I try to just keep myself grounded and I like to said I like to self-reflect I'm not perfect at it clearly I just came off a hiatus of a week of just kind of like not feeling the best but I still came out of it feeling positive about the break I took and like kind of getting myself back together so there is that this is the Fenty concealer and it's in the shade 310 and we're going to use like a little tiny bit of this and I like to use a little bit okay I'm back so let's blend out the chin I just want to add a little bit more brightness blend with a brush and then go back in with a sponge because it just makes everything a little bit more seamless and that's the goal but yeah so i also wanted to say thank you to everybody who leaves me super sweet comments or who comments things that i said in my video i think that's so cute and it just makes me really happy because it's like wow like you guys are actually you know watching my my videos and like i don't know it just makes me feel nice it's like a good feeling knowing like I'm putting myself out there and people are like receiving what I'm doing and like accepting me for doing what I'm doing for the people who take the time out of their day to like comment watch my videos or to like say something I said from my video I think that's so cool because it's like wow you're really paying attention look at you you know it just makes me feel special and things like that like really make me feel good and make me feel like wow okay you are doing this for a reason like you're being heard and I was telling Arnell this we were talking I was like there is not a lot of people who look like me who do this or there's not like a lot of people who are like me in this world that I'm trying to get into as far as the beauty situation goes and it's like it's it's fine like and she made a valid point she was just like don't take it as a negative like don't make that be the reason you don't do it make your own lane like create your own space and you could literally just create your own like space since there is no space for you or you don't feel like there's a lot of people who are like you or who look like you like you could literally just create your own like little space and i thought that was like such a smart way of thinking about it because i was just like wow like, there is no space for me like there's no there's no one like me. There's no one doing who looks like me, you know what I mean? Or who has my same complexion. So it's very like, it's kind of discouraging not to see people who look like you because then it's kind of like, wow, like maybe I shouldn't do this, I guess in a sense. But like she gave me a really positive way to look at the situation. Like don't look at it as you don't fit in or you shouldn't do this. Make it as you're making a space for you. So other people who maybe feel like that have a place and you can kind of like make your own lane. Which I thought was smart, and that's why she's on payroll, because that was genius. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go in with some cream blush. Well, liquid blush, cream blush. This is from Glossier, and this is their cloud paint in the shade Dusk. But I've had it for a really long time, and I've never used it. And then one day I picked it up, I was like, this is pretty, I want to try it. 
and since I tried it, I'm just like, wow, I'm happy I tried this because it looks so good. It's like a very like pretty soft blush color. Like it's not too overpowering and it's super blendable. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose and then take the sponge and lightly pat and blend it out. Okay, so to set the under eyes, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. And before we blend out everything, or like set everything, I'm going to just make sure everything is everything on the eyes. It's all blended, it's all smooth, there's no creasing. So the funniest thing just happened, I was setting my under eyes and then I realized that I wasn't recording. So all I did was literally just take my Laura Mercier, dip it into the top, and then some people tap off the excess, but I literally just go and tap off the excess, or blow up the excess, whatever you like, and then press it into my under eyes until it disappears. Um, I don't bake anymore because I just find like it's too drying and it just makes you look very like, I don't know, I just don't like to do it anymore. Or as of lately, with my new like foundation routine, I haven't been doing it. And I literally just press that into the skin until it like disappears. And I'm gonna do the same thing on my chin. And if there is still some powder, it's totally fine because we still have to bronze and like warm up our face and stuff and add blush. Okay, I don't remember what I was saying because I got a call and I started talking on the phone. So I'm sorry, but I know that we need to move on to bronzer and I haven't bronzed. So I'm gonna be using the Fenty bronzer in Caramel Cutie. And we're going to bronze up these cheeks as we color to our face. But yeah, so I just feel like overall I feel just a lot happier now that I've like had some time to like talk to myself and kind of like check myself, if you will, get myself together and stop worrying about everybody else and hone in on Jade and what I can do better as a person or as a creator to get to where I want to be, to accomplish the things I want to accomplish. That's all I need to focus on. I don't need to worry about what everybody else is doing because everybody else's journey is their journey. And I love a challenge, so why not challenge myself to create a space for, my, for me where I feel like I can create my own lane. I have a lot of content ideas that I want to do. So I just, I feel, I feel good. I feel, I feel good about this decision to just like get back into so many things. Next, I need to set everything into place, like with a face powder. So I'm gonna use this Sephora Micro Smooth powder. And this is going to set everything so that it doesn't move. For blush, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Blush Trio, and this is in the shade Peachy Love. And I just take some of the, well, all the shades and literally just mix them together. This, the main focus was literally the skin. So for highlight, normally I don't do highlight on my skin, like on my cheeks and stuff, but I got a comment to like, oh, you want to say you, you use highlighters, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to be using the Artist Couture highlighters. I'm going to use two of them. I'm going to be using Conceited and then the Artist Couture and Jackie Ina collab in the shade Le Bronze. Okay. So I'm going to just take a fluffy brush and take a little bit of each one and then literally tap off as much as possible and then just do like a little... And I think it just makes the skin look so healthy because it's like a light, like a light amount. Like it's not OD OD. So it just like gives your skin like a nice little sheen.
And then I go over it with my bronzer brush and blend everything together again so it's like not just too harsh on my skin. Let's set everything into place. I'm gonna use my Morphe setting mist. together hey guys so you're probably wondering why I'm in a different setting and why the lighting is different and that is because I forgot to do an outro for this video and I just realized it as I'm like going through the footage now so it's so it's so noisy it's so noisy um, anyway, I remembered that I didn't do an outro for this video, so I had to improvise, and here I am doing an outro. I just wanted to show you what it looks like in different lighting, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. We're super close to a thousand subscribers, and I can't wait to get there. It's gonna be such a cute milestone here on my channel, so let's get let's get her done. Let's get let's get to it. Let's it happen it's in your hands it's in the people's hands <laughs> but yeah so don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every time i upload here on youtube don't forget to follow me on instagram at jason underscore it'll be linked in the description box and i'll see you guys in my next video